we do online shopping this week. Think about whether you need to do online shopping this week. Do you need those people out in the community delivering packages and things? Maybe just leave them for a week. And click and collect. Do you really need that furniture that I know you can go and click and collect, which is safer, absolutely, than going um, into the store? We're looking at the seating at the moment and of course we're looking at the ball because sometimes the ball, as not that I've been to many football games, I have noticed occasionally it does get kicked into the crowd and uh, we are uh, working through the details of what that will mean. If you are at um, Adelaide Oval and the ball comes towards you, my um, advice to you is to duck and just do not touch that ball. We leave our house that anyone with us, anyone we come into contact with could ca convey the virus. So whilst it is in human nature to engage in conversation with others, to be friendly, um, unfortunately, this is not the time to do that. So even if you run into your next door neighbour in the shopping centre, in the Coles, while you're at Coles Woolworths or Aldi or any other um, grocery shop, don't start up a conversation. Well, in April this year, during Senate estimates, I put it to the Chief Medical Officer of the Commonwealth Department of Health, Professor Paul Kelly, that these COVID injections didn't actually stop transmission. And he told me that wasn't a true statement. You can watch the clip here. There has been a change in the biosecurity um, arrangements. Um, uh, it is now under the Biosecurity Act, uh, a requirement of anyone leaving Australia, regardless of their visa status, uh, to, be, to provide uh, evidence of vaccination if asked by an official. Why? Uh, that, that is under the biosecurity legislation. It was a decision of government. So well, I'm asking you why, why is that a requirement? So so somebody can ask that question, surely? Yes, uh, and I, I provided, provided advice to the Minister to make that decision. Uh, yes, and, and, and what was that advice? Uh, the, the advice was, was actually in relation to, to ex the people exiting Australia was in relation to our, our obligations under the international health regulations for protecting other countries. Um, we for protecting have other countries. And so just, just on that, what, what is the science behind that decision, given that we know, and I think we would all accept this, that transmission is irrelevant when vaccinated? You, you, are, you are effectively as infectious as you were if you were not vaccinated. Well, that's not a true statement. Sir. Well, that is a true statement. That's agreed to by almost all experts. Uh, it's not a true statement, Senator. I so, can provide, so, I can so, 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 what, what degree of transmission that. is? What, what, what degree of benefit are you, give, are you given by vaccination in terms of dampening down your transmission, for want of a better way of putting it? There, there, there is evidence about that. But Senator. what? How much? How much notice. is it? One percent? Is it two percent? I'll provide that on notice. No, you can tell me right Senator now. Senator Antic, the witness has agreed to provide it well, on notice. Well, how can we not Please know the answer to that right now? Harass the witnesses. Because I mean, Australian citizens are being stopped from going overseas for this. It should be a fairly simple question. I'll provide, provide that information on notice. Right oh. Now later, uh, he confirmed to me in writing that uh, the injections had a modest effect on transmission, which really uh, is another way of saying none. And just yesterday, Pfizer executive Janine Small has now admitted to the EU Parliament what we knew all along, that, that Pfizer didn't actually test the vaccine for prevention of transmission of COVID prior to that therapy being made available to the public. You can watch the statement here. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? And I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it entered the market? No, uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. Now, this apparent effect on transmission was the entire premise for the mandates, for the passports and for the shameful bullying which took place across all levels of society, along with so many others who stood against what really was the darkest, most illiberal period in our nation's history and much of the world. I won't be letting this go. So share this video with your friends and your family, maybe even a few 
who have never understood quite what happened and how badly they've been duped uh, in the last two years. We need to get the word out.